Hi friends, today we are going to discuss about how we can find which Fiori app has is there which can be used as a substitute of FBL 5N. Okay, I'm not replacing FBL 5N because you cannot replace. FBL 5N will be there, but if you want a Fiori look, which can be a little refreshing and can be easier to use, you can use it these fury apps so first thing is i go to the fury apps library okay i'll show you from the first so i go to all apps and here i will just type very simple i'll just type the transaction code which i know fbl 5 okay so here i give fbl 5 and here you can see all the fury apps that is available for uh for fbl 5 so here what i i will do is next is i'll go to the fury app okay and before this example i showed that we were using a managed supplier for invoices uh, related with incoming now we are going to do uh, anything which is out out which is customer related okay so here is customer line items so i'll just click on this one manage customer line items and here if you see now here it will show it will come probably with some default values or something let's see uh, it shows no data and again the sometimes you know the system you might be having a false impression that you know fury apps will be faster it may not be uh, but again it depends upon the network speed okay sometimes you know since everyone is working from home it's the speed is a little low it's less but once you're working from office it will be faster okay so it's showing up it will come no data it's still showing so eventually it will come and here so you can you can again see in fbl5 and you have other things you can see the stuffs for manage customer line items you have manage customer line items fbl fine in okay so these are different things so let's see it's still running it's still running so here if you see and if you want some information further you know you can go into the fury apps library and here you will get some information and this information is pretty useful because here you you can see the features what that are there set or remove payment blocks you can change line items such as payment data and all those things i hope this is coming okay this came so if you notice by default i have this company code now you might say okay how you got got here so what we have to do you can default everything so if i click here and if i go to settings and once i go to settings i can go to default values and here you can default some of these values okay so here if i notice additional data additional values i have 700 1700 to 17 that's my default so here if you want to set up your default you can set it up okay and you have different not every uh, app will have some default but some of these will have you know like it's like the parameter id in sap okay so now what i'm going to do is i'll just hit cancel and here if you see nothing is coming but because i have to hit go once i hit go you will get all this information so it's still churning okay and here you can see all this information sometimes it's faster sometimes and if you see these are due date overdue and all those things all the information is there now if you want to see details about the customer you click on it and you can see the customer details okay you can see this display customer balance and post incoming process receivables and if you click on more links okay you can find other information also okay if i click cancel now okay and i can click display customer balance okay it will only probably calls this this app only with the with that so let's see it's probably it's calling another app so it has all those linkage that it from one app it calls another app with the with the value so here if you see this to display customer balance and you here, here you can see the different customer balance that is there okay so this is very useful okay um now if you want to go back here you can see this is the balance credit and all those things if you think of and here you you can get things based on periods and all those things if you want okay now let me go back i hit the back button and i'll it i'll be taken 
to the FBL 5N equivalent fuel react. Okay, so it will come up. Okay, and this will show. Uh, okay, uh, so it's back. And here you can see other information. If you click on the journal entry, you can get information on the journal entry. And if you want to see uh, other stuff from here, you can see journal entry analyzer. You, it will open something. And from here, you, you can see other options also, which is very useful. OK, uh, let's click OK. OK, journal ent entry analyzer, I don't want to see. Here, another very beautiful portion is you have different settings, okay, and here you can click on this, and here you can see all these fields, so you can bring columns and all those things that are hidden, you can bring it, you can sort it, you can group it, it's really nice, it's really powerful, okay. Uh, now, if you want to, if you want to change things, edit line items, if you click, you can click on this edit line items and this will open the 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 documents accordingly and you can change things okay you can change the payment data whatever you want okay for each okay so this is this is pretty nice you can unblock for payment you can block for payment let's try this block for payment okay and i can put a block and i'll say test and if i click okay <coughs> It's, it's saying, see, it's trying to save. Uh, and again, when I'm blocking the same uh, same logic, same uh, validation that happens inside SAP is going to happen. Just because it's a Fiori app, it will do uh, update, direct update to the tables. That's not going to happen, okay? So again, sometimes it may be faster to do it from here. It, sometimes it may be slower, okay? It depends. Uh, so it's so it's churning you see so that's the way to and again you can do a lot of other stuff you can see edit line items create correspondence block for turning unblock for turning block for payment other things and here you can send it uh, as an here you have different option so you see several message message issued so specify payment period baseline date and all those things so those are the stuff that you can do. And also here you can, so you see, see, so it does the validation. So here, if you want this information to be saved as a tile, you can do it. You can send it as an email. It's really nice. And here also, if you click on this, you can get other information, which might be hel helpful. Okay. So here you can sort it based on customers and all those things if you want. And if you select this, it gets selected. It's like a click to deselect and all those things. And if you want, suppose I want more information, I'll probably want accounting group here coming. Okay. So if you click OK, I click OK. And now the accounting group is coming. Okay. So if you notice, um, th those are the things that are coming. So since I clicked on this, it's trying to open on Excel. So if you notice, it is trying to open Excel. So I'll click allow and it will open Excel for me. And uh, so th those are the things that you can build. You can get it very easily. So in SAP, it's a little more clicking here and there. But for Excel, this will open up very fast. Okay. So these are really useful stuff that that is that is beneficial. So if you notice happening in protected view, it, it may take some time, but here you can see all these things. So these are very helpful information. Uh, so if you want, again, FPL 5N is still there in the back end. You might want to use it. But if you are like uh, occasional users who spend less than 30 minutes in a day using SAP, probably Fiori is a really very good option for you, uh, which which will be beneficial and here you can see you can bring other fields if you want uh, that is essential okay so if I, I clicked on this and here you can see you can you can bring in other fields and you can do a search whatever you want okay so that's it stay tuned to my SAP channel and happy SAP learning and if you like it then subscribe to it and share it and have a great